For a plug, but no, I won't do a plug, but I'll be on the channel. What's going on? It was nine minutes away. Nine minutes it's away. Nine, this was guys, big LA Knight fan. Yeah. 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 Hey, this is the franchise, Shane Douglas, formerly of the Triple Threat with Bam Bam Bigelow and Chris Candido. When you want the lowdown on wrestling, get here to this podcast and Ollie Harper, my man. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is something on this holiday that I have been really looking forward to. And it is the studio tour for Universal. And I am I've got the fast pass and right at the front of the line. So really cool stuff. I'm really happy. They gave me these glasses for a reason. I don't know what these are for, but we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna see what's going on. Just watching one of the vans go now, so we're gonna be going in a minute. <laughs> So we'll see. They're going to take us around the back lots. So we're going to see where a lot of the uh, famous movies were filmed. So this is going to be really cool. This is definitely one of the big things for this trip that I've been hyped for. So, yeah, here we go. Here comes my ride. Hey, those people again. I don't know who you know. Uh, now that we're rolling, we got Adam up here at the wheel. You got me, Aurora, on the microphone. We have all you beautiful people in the seats. We have one other friend who likes to say hello to every tour. And you know this fella from Saturday Night Live, and these days he's the host of The Tonight Show, and that's my jam on NBC. His name is Jimmy Fallon, and that's here Jimmy he Fallon. is. Jimmy Fallon! Oh, hey there. I made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. Aurora. Oh, okay. And the greatest drive. Adam! They're the best. I love them. Even though... Aurora. Only five bucks. I'm gonna keep it. I know you guys are excited to get on this road. Of course, a few safety. Okay, I already mentioned camera safety. You're about to start seeing movie posters on either side of you, representing just a few of our favorite movies from more than 100 years of filmmaking. Our founder, Carl Levin, came out to California back in 1912, and his big dream was to build an entire city dedicated just to making movies. Now, he started small. He bought a little chicken ranch down in the valley, uh, he brought out a camera, started filming some of his cowboy friends riding around, made some silent westerns. Things went really, really well. So by March 15th, 1915, Carl Lemley decided he should open his movie studio up to the public. So back in 1915, you could buy a ticket, come in, see how moving pictures were made. That's kind of like the beginning of the studio tour, more than 100 years ago. We've been doing tram tours like this working fire station with real working firefighters. We love those guys. They're fantastic. They keep us safe. In addition to our fire station, our city also has a hospital, a bank, a post office. We've got our own zip code. We've got everything every other city has except for permanent homes. Nobody lives here. And that makes us the busiest city in the world with no citizens. But we're always busy. We're making movies. We're making TV shows. We're giving tours. 365 days a year, rain or shine. There's always something going on around here. And the majority of production on our lot happens in the front part of our property. The area we call the club lot is where we keep most of our sound stages. 70 to 80 percent of all filming is done inside sound stages like stage 12 over here on the left hand side. And stage 12 has been the home to some of Hollywood's most iconic locations, places like Frankenstein's lab, Dracula's castle, Scarface's Mansion, the Visitor Center from Jurassic Park. We know all these sets inside the same building. Just not announced. Uh, like Bel Air, we just passed sound stages 7 and 8, and uh, sound stage 14 up here on the left. And those are the three sound stages that they used to film the new season of Bel Air that they just finished up. Sound stage 14 over here was also used to film season two of Harry. We're going to get just a quick look at these metropolitan sets designed to look like city streets. And we can decorate those streets to look like whatever city we want to visit to tell our story. Right now, that's where they're building the obstacle course for American Ninja Warrior. They're going to be filming their semifinals there in about a week or so. And then whoever makes it through the semifinals goes to Las Vegas for the final. So they're working hard. We're going to leave them to it. We're going to take all of you to visit one of the biggest stars who has ever worked with Universal Studios. And here to introduce him 
is Director Peter Jackson. It's the original thing called the uh, Original Magna P.I., the one with Tom Selleck. Uh, we have cars from Back to the Future, Back to the Future Part 2, and the Flintstones. So we got the future and the past totally covered. And every car in this lineup was custom built for the production and was featured in. I mean, something like those Stone Age foot powered cars from the Flintstones would kind of have to be custom built. You don't really expect the cars in the Flintstones to look like the cars that drive through your neighborhood. And not all of these cars are quite that extreme. Have a seat for me, car three. Thank you. Uh, but every car in this lineup is unique. Like I said, they were all custom built. Each of these vehicles was put together to help our filmmakers tell. The dinosaurs are fake, in case anyone couldn't tell. Got to make sure you know the dinosaurs were fake, the cars were fake, like half the trees right here are made out of cold rubber. We're in Hollywood. Nothing's real here. Okay, quick side note, I want to let y'all know we're hitting roughly the halfway point of our tour, so that gives you a general idea how much time is left. They like me to put the safety graphic up at the halfway point to remind everyone we want you to stay seated at all times. And remind you, we got that red emergency cord above your head in case you need to call for assistance. And now that we've done the reminder, let me welcome you to the Old West. And around these parts, when we say Old West, we really do mean old. These western sets include some of the oldest Hollywood structures still standing anywhere in the world. A couple of our western buildings go back to 1916 when the movies were still silent. And some of Hollywood's most famous cowboys got their start right here. Guys like John Wayne and Kirk Douglas up on your screens right now. Over the years, these sets have seen a number of famous cowboy faces like Robert Redford, Lee Van Cleef, Clint Eastwood, and this guy right here. This town ain't big enough for the bullets, but... With a subway station set, built inside it. And the scene that's up on your monitors right now is from an episode of the TV show Bones that filmed in here. Uh, it was a few years back, like, you know it's been a while because they don't even make Bones anymore. But you can see the set still looks pretty much the same. And that's because our subway station set works the same way as our outdoor backlot sets. It's a permanent structure. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on.
But if you were a fan of the show, you might recognize a couple of these houses. You might recognize all of these houses, because every single one of them was featured in Desperate Housewives. And just within the last year, pretty much every production that calls the Universal La Home has taken a turn filming on this location. So you can see this one neighborhood in episodes of Ted, Bel Air, Quantum Leap. And that's just recent stuff. This neighborhood was actually put together in the late 1940s. That's when they first assembled this street. And they used it for movies of the era like Harvey, A Bedtime for Fonzo. Uh, late 40s was when television first started to come in. And so they used it. sandwich is based on when all the, um, the hippies go to I think they go to Shelbyville to get the because uh, the, the rib witch is a limited time thing it was the um, Lisa Spelling Bee episode where she gets the uh, she, she wins the, she has the spelling bee against Alex because it's Alex so I remember that episode but that's the one where the rib witch is from great episode yeah I love some of the, uh, the art in here so these are all like celebrity voice uh, actors that have been in the show, guest stars, and uh, yeah, so really cool, really, really cool. Really nice speed place, actually. Alright, all right, so you put this here? Yes, sir. Alright. So, like that? We good? Yep. You? Yep. Yeah. Up, I'm going to the middle. One more time. All right. Welcome. You can hit it as hard as you want. No, all right. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Good job. Thank you. All right, so don't underrate
I have an itchy hat on my head, but uh, I won it. So now we're gonna go to Nintendo World because that is what it is all about. <laughs> so now we're going down to the, uh, the lower lot. And over there is Super Nintendo World. So this is the first Nintendo World outside of Japan. So I've been wanting to do this. Really cool, looking forward to it. been looking so the Bowser's challenge is 90 minute wait and you're not even gonna get it in the uh, in the in the fast pass so I'm a bit like I really want to go do a few other things and I think I'm gonna literally you know there's a couple of more rides I want to do I want to do the mummy and uh, Jurassic Park potentially so you know and they're gonna be fast pass available so I'm I really want to just work with what I got and you know we'll see what happens with him the Bowser thing because I got my picture with Mario so I'm happy with that but uh, yeah, 90 minutes is quite a long time and we're nearly at three o'clock, so yeah, we'll see. Get ready! Get ready. do the Jurassic World ride next. We've done Transformers, we've done the Mummy, and now we're gonna do this one. So this is gonna be cool. Um, a really fun time had so far, and it's funny because Mario World has got everybody over there. Every other ride you can get round trees. So really Mario World is Nintendo World, should I say. It's like the only thing right now that's the hottest new thing. But I remember back in the day when a lot of these rides were, I mean, at Orlando, this is many years ago, uh, they all have big queues, but this is not so bad. There are a lot of them. Do you guys live around here? Duke, I don't think they have homes. They don't have collars. No homes? No owners? Who feeds them? Alright guys, we are, well, I'm done. Guys, it's been a hell of a day. Uh, it is nearly 7 o'clock. I got here at 10. I have had an absolute blast. 
I am tired. My feet hurt, but I've had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, honestly, guys, it's been great, but it is time to go now for me. As tomorrow is a big day, I'm moving hotels. I want to pack. I've got a few things I want to do. So I'm going to wrap up here. But great, great day here at Universal Hollywood. Great day. And uh, we'll see you guys. Hopefully tomorrow we'll do some more footage. So, all right, guys, take care.